Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at a new city simulator announced by Paradox Interactive and um, Colossal Order Studios called Cities Skylines. Now, uh, this was announced um, a few weeks ago by Paradox and um, it is being made by Paradox uh, along with Colossal Order. Uh, now, a little background information. It was either, uh, this game is going to be made, is being made by the same people that created the Cities in Motion series. So you can assume that there will be a great traffic, uh, a great traffic simulation in the game, within the game. Alright, um, now, we're just going to talk about this for a bit. I'm going to talk about this uh, and explain it to you so that you have a bit of background information regarding it. Now, a release date has not been made for this game yet. And um, uh, only a... Um, I think only one trailer has been put out. Uh, but... Alright, let's talk about this. Now, a lot of people have... Uh, said that this game is going to give the latest SimCity a run for its money and that it will be so much better because it's going to have larger maps, as you can see right here. Huge maps unlock new map tiles with unique possibilities to expand the city. And, um, you know, it's going to be offline, which it says right here, single player, yes. Multiplayer, no. Uh... And it, they're automatically thinking this is going to be so much better. Uh, but we don't know until we've seen more footage, <clears throat> everything, that sort of thing. Now, uh, they've listed the main features on this page that I'm on. I'm on the Paradox Plaza website. Uh, and it's uh, the p current page for City Skyline at the moment. Um, I'm just going to get that out of the way. I, I don't want that there. Okay, now, uh, they've listed their main features here, uh, city policies, city districts, uh, unlock buildings and services, taxation, public transportation, outside connections, wonders, huge maps, which I already stated, water flow simulation, polished visual style and core gameplay, and modding tools, uh, built-in feature designed to encourage creative pursuits. Now, uh, after reading that last one, I'm going to dive into a different discussion here. Uh, I have been told that um, that the creators of this game, uh, I, Colossal Order, I guess, uh, the main creators of this game, they are uh, they have reached out to SUGC, which, you, in case you don't know, uh, SUGC is. Um, SimCity user-generated content, uh, and uh, it consists of different teams. Uh, it, it's basically a modding group for SimCity 2013. Uh, the, the Colossal Order has reached out to uh, SUGC uh, and was asking, you know, if, if they would get involved with this, uh, with the modding of this, and... and uh, yeah, uh, completely unlike to SimCity 2013, where SimCity 2013, they were not completely open to modding when the game came out, and uh, we had to wait a few months months for them to open up a bit more uh, and allow <coughs> different mods to be released. Uh, now, um, like I said, they are constructing tools uh for the modding community, uh, so that this uh, game can really take off like SimCity 4, uh, or any other games of that variety. Uh, and yeah, now, <clears throat> you will be able to purchase this game on Steam, um, you will need to have the Steam client, um, and yeah. Uh, if you want to view the trailers, uh, it's on YouTube, uh, as well as on this page. This page, uh, link will be in the description, so you do not need to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I have like a, I'm um, trying to clear my throat here. Now, um, uh, this game, uh, currently, uh, 
I believe it's only for PC at the moment. I don't I don't know if it's available for Mac users. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to explain here. And now we're gonna go to a uh, different website that talks about how it's this game is going to give the latest SimCity a run for its money, like I was talking about earlier. All right. I will see you guys in a second. All right, hey guys, we're on the Eurogamer.net website, um, which I uh, wrote an article saying uh, titled "City Skyline is out to satisfy where SimCity couldn't," and that's what I was talking about when people were saying "City Skyline is going to give the latest SimCity a run for its money." Now, <clears throat> let's dive in here. Now, it says here that. Uh, yeah, the game can provide up to um, 36 square kilometers of space, uh, which is quite a lot, actually. Uh, it, it's more than City XL, actually. Uh, whereas SimCity only provided a few square kilometers. Uh, if you could compare that to, you know, like two square kilometers of regular SimCity boxes, uh, you compare that to. Um, you, you time set by like say 10 um, or 12 or 14 or 16 and e you're gonna get uh, a lot of space um, <clears throat> maybe uh, even bigger than the size of a normal SimCity region now okay now this game is currently being developed by only nine people um, it's being developed by Colossal Order, but only being developed specifically by nine people. Um, now, one thing I want to say, uh, you may look at this, you may look at some of these pictures, and you don't see a lot of diversity uh, in regards to buildings, and you're like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to play a game that only has a, a, a limited selection of, uh, like, a, a limited selection of models for buildings I, I want a, I want a lot of models and you know you can't base it off of these pictures because um, this was just announced a few weeks weeks ago so please do not let these uh, mislead you or um, uh, uh, let something come across uh, as different all right and uh, they, I read up here earlier that they um uh, was it no, it's down here. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, they they have slated a release for sometime between the first and second quarters of 2015. So that means um, either from January to about June, uh, they are predicting the release um, of 20 uh, in 2015. So that's a, still a big uh, time period, um, about six months. But um, yeah. And it also says, uh, hopes that with additional content from both its team and the game's players, it will continue to grow for a long time after. So basically, uh, this is a game that you can that you can look forward to, that you can continue to read about, because it's it's going to turn into something that uh, completely awesome. That's my prediction, um, and that it's so it, that prediction belongs to many other people as well. They, be they believe the same thing. They think the same way. And uh, hopefully we get something uh, like SimCity 4, but a little bit more modern. Uh, and basically what we're hoping for is a combination of SimCity 4 and SimCity 2013 uh, without all the bugs and the limited city sizes and everything. Uh and yeah, that that's really it for this video. Uh, right now, I do not have that uh, much information to give to you because it was just announced a few weeks ago. Uh, so I will have more videos produced as time progresses and more information is released. So you be sure to stay tuned and uh, make sure you uh, continue to pay attention to the videos I put out in regards to City Skylines because a lot of information regarding the game is going to be put out onto my channel through videos. So you'll, you'll want to stay tuned for that. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And leave me con some, some constructive criticism. That's always appreciated. And subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos. And be sure to follow me on Twitter. 
That is at Captain0202. At Captain0202. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to stay tuned uh, for more videos in regards to City Skylines. More of them are to come. Talk to you later.